Hello. Uh, if you're watching this video, it's probably because uh, you struggle with uh, the direction of your insert mesh brush. Uh, sometimes, or maybe you struggle every time. So I will try to explain to you how it works uh, in a very simple way, and you should never do mistake after that. I promise. <laughs> So let's say I want this uh, arrow mesh uh, to be an insert mesh brush. The first thing you would do, need to do actually, is just to say uh, to the brush palette, create insert mesh. You can say a new one for now. And then you got an insert mesh brush with the arrow mesh inside of it. So I just prepare a cube here just to use uh, to use it as a as a surface if i use my arrow here i can insert my arrow i can turn it right but maybe i wanted my arrow pointing to me i mean um i want the base of the arrow on the surface of my model but here i can't do it i mean i need to uh, insert it and then turn it move it and it's too long and of course you don't want to work this way. So maybe you're thinking, uh, you are thinking, uh, I just need to rotate this arrow. So if I rotate it by 80, uh, eight, uh, 90 degree, sorry, that way. So before I got that, then I got that. And I say it's create insert mesh. I will say append, that way we'll just uh, uh, go with uh, the previous one. Okay, this is my new one, the first one, the new one. And I try to insert it here. It's still not the way I wanted, I mean, the direction is still not the one I wanted. Why is that? Because actually, uh, you don't need to rotate your arrow, uh, your mesh, you won't affect, uh, it could affect, but not because you rotate it. Actually, when you work with insert mesh, you need to think, um, uh, what you need to understand is like your, your Canva here represents basically the surface, um, the surface of the model when you will insert your uh, brush. So that's mean if I want, this base to be on the surface, I need just to move it that way, but I don't need to rotate it. Actually, I just need to move my view, uh, like the camera around the model. So if I just do that and say, create insert mesh, append, all right. You can still see that the direction change here. And now if I want to insert my arrow, it will be uh, in the correct position, uh, direction, sorry. By the way, if you want to change uh, the depth of it, you need to go to the brush palette, then depth sub palette, and you need to change the embed here. That way, so let's say here. Here we go. So that's the first thing to know when you want to create an insert mesh. Just think the Canva is a surface, basically. What if I want to um, to make a curve mode? Uh, I mean, a brush curve. Uh, when you have when you got an insert mesh brush, you just need to go to the stroke palette and in the curve soft palette, just enable the curve mode. Perfect. If I use my insert mesh with a curve mode, it will insert my um, my arrow the same way that we got just before. But I don't want this way. I want another way. So because I got uh, two previous um, directions, I can just try here. Not this one. Okay, maybe this one. So how to think about that? Uh, I think that's pretty simple. We know that the, the Canva is a surface, right? What you need to know also is um, when you use a curve mode, you need to think that the bottom of the Canva is the starting point and the top is the eight points. So basically your stroke is going this way. That means, um, uh, sorry, basically it's going the other way. I just said something stupid. 
say it again. So the starting point is here, the end point, the end point is here. So it's going this way, sorry. So if you want your arrow to follow this way, you need just to place it this way too. Create insert mesh append. All right. If you do it the other way, create insert mesh append. You will see the two opposite way. So let's try with uh, the last one. My arrow is going the wrong way compared to my um, to my draw, right? Even if I start from the bottom, it doesn't work. But with the previous one, that works perfectly well. And here we go. So just remember, the canvas is a surface, and the direction is from the top to the bottom. And you won't you won't do any mistake anymore. <laughs> I hope so. Hope you enjoy it. See you next time.